$50 budget phone that can take pictures which not even flagships can day this is the successor to the budgeting from last year the reg meeting note 9 pro starting with the unboxing of got the most high end model in the note 9 lineup also known as note 9 pro max in some markets the one that comes with the 64 megapixel lens we have the google apps access message on the side of the box inside the box we have some paperwork it's illegal in case a special usb type c cable and a big 30 watt fast charger that is definitely a huge jump from the 18 watt fast charging of the readme noted pro from last year and then we have the readme no time pro in the tropical green color that looks pretty fresh the noted program last year was my favorite budget phone and then compared that have they raised the bar or not let's take a deep dive the price is around 250 dollars for the note 9 pro is still one of the most affordable phones on the market no matter where you live there is an interesting design change compared to last year's model looks bigger and more colorful still rocking glass back for premium this headphone jack is still there we have a more modern poncho design which some people prefer over a knowledge base i think when scanner barberton is a very welcoming change very quick indeed the quad camera and boxes set up on the back was still rock the same 64 megapixel lens 8 megapixel ultra light to megapixel depth sensor and a 5 megapixel macro lens compared to the 2 megapixel off last year's model neither really paid that much attention to it last time because I wasn't really impressed that much but this time I played with it and I can't stop using it if you use this in good lighting conditions preferably outdoor will get some really great shots unless you come really close to the subject I mean I cannot take these photos on my $1,300 iPhone because they don't have a macro lens so in order to come this close we need a macro lens which this budget phone has you may or may not care about this but definitely opens new possibility and especially at this price it's nice to have all these features it also lets you shoot 1080p videos in macro mode now like last year the 64 make this a lens is still pretty good sharp results natural colors ultra light is here as well not possibly my favorite and another big improvement that i've seen compared to the last remodel is better performance in pro mode to really test out the promo that i took the phone to a really tough harsh dark condition what you're looking right now is a normal picture this is a night work picture and this is 1 30 second 64 megapixel night march shot the difference is insane i can literally see the text on the outdoor of that ac which i couldn't even see through my eyes you can make the images even better with a bit of light from touch this easily makes this phone one of the best phones out there to have the pro nightwood experience with features similar to flagships the promo unless you take 64 mp 30 seconds long exposure shots with iso up to 3200 watts even amazing that it works with all the lenses which i haven't really seen on other phones there are many 64-bit whistle phones out there but to truly push the sensor to its maximum promo it is necessary and i think shelby has done a great job now you can should forgive videos but it does not have optical image stabilization sadly so as long as you're not running around and keeping your hand stable i guess you'll be fine but for stable results you have to drop the quality to 1080p front camera is 16 megapixels so we have decent results does a good job in portrait mode another not as detailed in image processing could definitely be improved in the future but overall it does the job well not another big important difference is the battery size it is now 5020 million bar compared to the last year's 4500 mh battery we also have 30 watt of fast charging which is one of the fastest fast charging solutions on a budget phone at this price at 30 minute charts can give you around 50 percent of battery which can almost lost you a full day if you are not in a game a lot now speaking of gaming xiaomi had the decision to go with a qualcomm 720g chip this time around i can see why because this is a 8 nanometers chip versus drug nanometer from last year's model a huge hump in the note means we have a much more efficient shape cooler performance for longer gaming sessions while overall performance and benchmarks are more or less the same it will definitely be better for the battery the games that i tried on the phone ran fine and the ui was also pretty smooth the display is a full hd plus 6.6 .6 inch ips lcd panel number four i say i wish this phone had only been out the ips display is not bad it is still bright enough the colors are nice and why brand like most people at this price range would probably not notice any difference because of the ips display this phone is cheaper than some 
of the budget phones out there. Lease in most markets compared to the likes of Samsung but then again having an OLED display would have been actually amazing that comes with accurate and out of the box based on B11 not my favorite UI but definitely one of the better ones I've used I like the arrangement of the app drawer I like the look of the settings the ability to add custom actions with the buttons once again a killer pro camera mode that works with all lenses and that the ability to hide poncho if you want to do overall a decent scan in the future it will get the B12 which is the upcoming new skin which has a lot of new features that is something to look forward to all in all the readme note 9 pro still checks it all shelby's goal here is to create the smartphone that has all the features you need for as low price as possible 8 nanometers quantum chair bigger battery faster charging cord blood loss back and most importantly a great camera experience i still think that this phone does justice to the legendary readme note lineup please subscribe Comment and like the video thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.